We're up. I can see us. That looks good. Oh. Hello, internet. Hello. Ah. Hello, internet. Hi. We're here. Finally. Hi. Uh, Explorers of Elsewhere, charity live stream 2024. How you doing? Whoop, whoop. Woo! We whoop, whoop. are here. We are back. Uh, we <laughs> are gonna raise some money for charity. Uh, and uh, we are gonna do it all together because we're a lovely community like that. How you all doing? I am DM Dan. Uh, this is Explorers of Elsewhere's uh, Gaming for Good charity live stream 2024 uh, raising money for 1625 independent people a uh, charity that does uh, some fantastic work tackling youth homelessness um it's a absolutely absolutely fantastic cause um and they deserve quite a lot of your money um so uh <laughs> over the space of the day between the there's a ferret give us ferret. your money give us, give us it yeah, we'll sick, we'll sick the ferret on you. Um, so, over the space of the day, uh, there will be um, various games. Uh, the games are going to have various donations, uh, and those donations will invoke certain things across our games. Um, and you'll be able to see those incentives uh, above the chat. Uh, so, um, yeah, we'll run through what some of those words mean, because there's at least one made-up word in that uh, incentive today. Uh, but, yes, I am DM Dan. Ooh, uh, today I'm joined, uh, let's go around the houses, firstly, by Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello. How you doing? Uh, Brother Grunty reporting for duty staff. <laughs> Brother Grunty. Marvellous, marvellous. Um, yes, Chris from uh, our Wednesday Night D&D games and also uh, Rough Sketch. Uh, and also uh, an employee of 1625, you know. Yes, yes. Just throwing it out there. We've got our in, yes. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Um, 1625 and uh, Rough Sketch uh, for, uh, for if you want to go back and, and listen to those. Um, how you doing? You good? I'm a little coffee. I'm a little kind of ill, yeah. um, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I've had enough sleep, I think. I've got to go out and do some improv later, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Uh, this, this is, is uh, like, yeah. Nice warm-up, question mark? Yeah, it's a warm-up, <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's how I'm treating it, as a warm-up. Uh, we, we did Goblin Quest yesterday with a couple of the staff yeah. from 1625, and, that, and it went just crazy, so, it went you know. As well as you expected it to. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, well, moving swiftly on. Uh, hello, Errol. How you doing? I'm good. I I got back into the UK at like midnight last night, so I, you know, I'm just about. It wasn't it wasn't too time zoney away, so I'm I'm good. Uh, Brother Grector is ready to Brother hopefully uh, hold a parade. I uh, don't know how likely that is, but excited for the potential. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Um, yeah, Errol, uh, you're uh, one of our new faces to the campaign two mm. on the channel. Um, and yeah, very, very happy to have you here. Um, speaking of, uh, on the second campaign on the channel, hi Meg. Hello. How hi you doing? again. Yeah, all good. I'm ready. Grilda is ready to be the most impressive space marine of Brother them all. Grilda. Yeah, Brother Grilda, <laughs> with his flamethrower. <laughs> um, That's how it goes. <laughs> uh, so yes, Meg's certainly uh, no stranger to the channel. Uh, someone else who also isn't a stranger to the channel. Hi Tilda, how you doing? Hi, hey, I'm alive. Yeah? You know, it's yeah. going. <laughs> that's a good start. Well, to be fair with space marines, that's never really a... Uh, uh, like a guarantee, is it, that you'll be alive for one moment to the next? Um, yeah. But yes, Evelyn Gregan is reporting for duty, ready to lift things because that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. Okay, Evelyn Gregan, uh, amazing. So, uh, for those of you who are wondering what on earth is happening, uh, we are going to be playing a uh, one-page RPG by Grant Howitt called Nice Marines. Um, the synopsis is 
Uh, you are a space marine, an immortal giant genetically engineered to be the perfect instrument of war. You and your squad mates are oath sworn protectors of the astral commonwealth of people and one another. <laughs> the iconoclasts of the galaxy shiver in terror at the very mention of your name. However, support forces have not arrived following the recent liberation of Bristolis IV, leaving you in charge of a diplomatic envoy dedicated to rebuilding after the conflict. You have no idea how to do this. However, you've got three solar days until your superiors arrive to inspect the city. So best get to it. For the Commonwealth. Uh, okay. Oh, so, so, um, all of our uh, Spoosh Marines have uh, a number of uh, dice that are allocated to a number of um, approaches, like I wouldn't call them abilities. Uh, anything combat related uh, is an automatic success because you are, in fact, space marines. Um, but anything non combat related is utterly alien to you, uh, perhaps borderline heretical. Um, <laughs> but that doesn't stop some of you having varying levels of confidence. Um, so whenever we need to do something non combat related, we will roll some dice. Um, if. Uh, if the thing in question happens to involve uh, one of your like independent passions, um, then you roll additional dice and take the highest results. Um, and rolling low is bad, rolling high is bad, sort of, <laughs> it's good and bad, uh, and rolling somewhere in the middle is about as good as it can get. Uh, but yeah, you have to. You've got three days to delicately pick your way through uh, the mess that is Bristolis Four. Um, so, real, uh, real quick, uh, let's say, let's start with Chris again. Um, what is your, uh, what is, what is the thing you're most confident in and least confident in according to your dice rolls? Uh, if I've understood how to assign these dice rolls correctly. Mm -hmm then uh, I might have done this right. So, uh, Brother Grunty is really good at building and repairing things. Okay. Uh, and is not confident at all at being nice to civilians or holding up parades. Because those are the, both of the, the D6s that I've assigned. Perfect. Okay, so very confident in repairing and D6 is... Uh, sorry, protect... Being nice, being nice to civilians. Right, yeah. And holding parades. And holding parades. Okay, let me make a note. And then you're good at building and repairing things. Marvellous. Uh, yeah. Errol, uh, what is Brother Grector um, good at and... Well, confident in, I should say. <laughs> and mm -hmm. not confident in. Uh, Brother Grector, maybe one day in his early Space Marine training, mm -hmm. saw something that probably like a, a military procession right like okay. and found the the word parade and was like i want to one day hold the greatest parade <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gi I'm giving my character some goals yeah. <laughs> um why um so yeah him him is good at holding parades him is not good at building and repairing things or lifting heavy things which i feel like is essential for holding parades so we'll see <laughs> are you are you the the, the backseat manager of a parade no no it goes over there it goes over where are the balloons i feel like i feel like i'm the person that is like the stage manager like there if i'm managing a the space marine equivalent of the cabaret stage at pride mm -hmm. i am the person that holds the microphone and tells people where to go, but sure. does none of the hard work. <laughs> okay, amazing. Um, okay, uh, next up. Uh, what is Brother Grilda confident and not confident in? Grilda is divinely ordained to be the most impressive space marine of the entire Commonwealth. Yeah. He has the shiniest armor. He has the biggest flamethrower. You know, he is, yes, impressing <laughs> yeah. 
If he cannot impress in civili civilians, then what is the point in being alive? Um, yes, he, he loves to impress civilians. Um, as much as he likes to impress them, he also likes to protect them. You could say he's quite zealous about it. Okay. Um, he's very good at lifting heavy objects, yeah. mainly because lifting heavy objects is very impressive to civilians. Yeah. Um, he is very keen to be nice to civilians, but he's probably not very good at it. <laughs> and he's, he's cautiously optimistic about holding parades, but he's never done one before. But he's sure that if he did, it'd be the most impressive parade anyone had ever seen. <laughs> so, uh, are you cautiously optimistic about uh, holding parades and so being nice to civilians, was it? Being, yeah, so D20 is in my impressives, protectives is my D12, um, lifting heavy is D8, hold parade is D6. Oh, and I forgot D10, which is be nice to civs. Okay, so so what was your two D6s again, sorry? Holding uh, parades and... Holding parades, is it two D6s? Yeah, two D6s and two D6s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what am I going to do? Um, let's see... <laughs> Um, while you are thinking, um, guys, did you pick an um, equipment? Because I know you, yes. Grilda has the flamethrower. <laughs> yes. Just so we don't double up, because I want the jetpack. Oh, okay. I won't have the jetpack then. No, you can have the jetpack. I can also go for a grapple cannon. <laughs> I'm gonna. You... I'm gonna say that Grilda is also thinks he's fairly good at gathering information because he's got such high charisma because he's so impressive. But. His uh, shiny helmet. Shiny helmet, yeah. Means that everyone sees very shiny helmet. Okay. Very well polished. A very well polished helmet. Okay, very good. Um, yes. Okay, and um, what? Well, uh, sorry, last one not least. Uh, Shibling Gregon. Uh, what is your? Uh, what are you divinely ordained in, and what are you cautious in? Uh, sibling Gregon is divinely ordained in lifting heavy objects, because that is what a space moon is being about. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> And absolutely not uh, not great at information gathering uh, and holding yeah. parades. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, Gregon geez, doesn't understand art, and parades kind of fall under that. Uh, holding parades, right. So this is definitely not... There's definitely going to be some parades that need to be held. Okay, noted. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, we'll do a uh, quick, quick shout-out. Um, so, uh, space marines, being that they are uh, genetically modified post, like post humans, um, what don't you understand and have, therefore have a fascination with, uh, Chris? What's uh, Grunty fascinated by? You know when the humans they do the thing, and they have the lip, <laughs> and they and they they produce the water from their face. I mean, I don't get it. I believe you're referring to love, Brother Grunty. No, no, no. Oh, the much, much more sadness. Oh, the sadness, okay. The, the weeping. It's the same thing, Brother Grunty. It's the same thing. <laughs> I mean, it really is. Okay. It really is. So uh, I don't know if I can keep this voice up, but I'll try. <laughs> Brother Grunty does not understand sadness. Sadness. I mean, that pretty much sums up all of the canonic Space Marine lore, doesn't it? Um, what's uh, what does Brother Grector uh, find himself uh, fascinated by, Errol? Um, I think we're gonna go with one of the elves. I think we're gonna go for doesn't under doesn't understand, but is fascinated by love. We've got an ace, an ace. <laughs> a spectrum space marine here. Aww. Amazing, amazing. Um, okay, so love is a uh, mystery to Brother Grector. Mm -hmm. uh, Brother Grilda, what is your fascination? I do not understand this thing that happens when the humans go ha ha ha. What even is that? <laughs> That's what, not a word. What is humour? <laughs> What is humour? What is humour? <laughs> I do not understand it. They uh, say things, they say these things called jokes, where they say things and they're not the real things that they actually mean. It's a war chant. Someone says something and they all bellow a war cry. Ha 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 ha. 
<laughs> what is uh, Brother Greg? Uh, sorry, Sibling Gregan. What is Sibling Gregan? Uh, Sibling Gregan does not understand art. It <laughs> colors next to each other things that exist in re uh, in real life anyway. Just take a photo. <laughs> Just take a photo. <laughs> The only word <laughs> worth liking is war. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Sibling Dragon doesn't understand the art of war either. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Marvellous. So, we've got, uh, and sorry, I, I probably should have asked earlier. So, we know that uh, Brother Grilda has a flamethrower. Uh, we know that Sibling Dragon has a grapple cannon. Um, what does uh, Brother Grunty what does Brother Grunty brought to the mix? Uh, I think because nobody else has cho chosen it, I'm going to go with the Ancient God Pistol. <laughs> the thing is, that's all it says. We don't know what that means, but we'll just run with it. <laughs> what, what, what makes it a God Pistol? Let's find out! Let's find out! Chris. There's only one way to find out. Fire it. Does it shoot gods? Or does it yes. shoot gods, you know? Um, and, <laughs> Errol, what does uh, Brother Grector uh, uh, bring to the party? Brother, Brother Grector enjoys his atomic jetpack, uh, both <laughs> like uh, publicly and privately. <laughs> Uses it on weekends to do Amazon deliveries. <laughs> <laughs> That might be part of the rebuilding process. Um, okay, marvellous. So, we, we've got our fleshed out, question mark, space marines. Um, so, we, uh, off, like, off camera, we all decided, uh, all space marines are banded together in chapters. Um, they, each chapter is a thousand space marines strong. Uh, and your uh, illustrious chapter, um, which was 100% not affected by a clerical spelling error uh, are the fists of numerous um so just fists of numerous uh from the planet numinous uh cool so yeah you are the fists of numerous um and what what is your have we decided what the battle cry of the fists of numerous is? Um, I did suggest for the fist. Yes, yeah, for the fist. What a fist. <laughs> Fisting oh okay. no. is probably okay. yeah, not I was thinking fist it, but also fist. that's a bit much. Um yeah. for It's a bit <laughs> early for that. It's a bit early, it's eleven AM. <laughs> <laughs> you, say that. you say that, but we do have someone who doesn't understand humour. <laughs> oh, right, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. We are the fisting elite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's getting worse. Excellent. Okay. Well, I, I will. I, I'm sure that the fists of numerous, uh, part, okay. of the, part of the appeal of the fists of numerous is that it enjoys um, personal expression. Uh, amongst its uh, space marines. So, whatever battle cry you feel drawn to bellowing whenever the uh, moment takes you, feel free. Um, cool. So, uh, I need to roll some dice to find out <laughs> what you're doing. So, having successfully uh, liberated Bristolis 4, um, there are two factions vying for supremacy, uh, and I have to re-roll, I have to roll this. So, what What am I? I am, let's say, High Lord DM Dan. Uh, I don't know if that'll come up, but let's see. Bam! Okay, High Lord DM Dan rolls a 1 and a 4. So, the two factions that are vying for supremacy are an incredibly pious... House of Psychic Nobles and an incredibly pious law enforcement cadre. Okay. Uh, so, incredibly. <laughs> I have no idea what a cadre is, but I'm sure I'll find out. <laughs> You'll find uh, out. Dad, yes, sorry to interrupt. But according to the chat, your 
your volume is very low compared to everyone is it else. Very low? How yeah. about if I do this? Is that better? Is that is that better? Uh, if I keep going, let's hang on. Um, let's. I sure might do a feedback. Look, I won't do that. Uh, cool. Thank you for letting us know, chat. Um, let me know if I need to go up a bit more, um, or if I just need to shout more. You know. Um, so, House of Psychic Nobles. Uh, so, uh, let's say the uh, Psychalis Nobalis and the Law Enforcement Cadre. Uh, okay. More, more. Uh, Okay, cool, yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Right, so. <clears throat> Brothers and siblings, a new day arises on Bristolis IV. The heresy that infected it has been purged by your mighty fists. This is, this is gonna be a hard, a hard session. <laughs> <laughs> Especially um, after all the fits. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You'd need some cream or something. <laughs> a bit later. Do we need like a uh, do we need like a tip jar for every every time I make a fisting joke? Maybe yeah. Maybe well, we need to get some donations up in here. Um, okay. As more donations, more fisting jokes. Yes. <laughs> As, or less. Uh... Or, or less. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know I posted this in my work chat like before coming on. I really <laughs> I really hope this isn't the section that they've decided to join at. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. As as the morning sun of uh, the morning light of the immortal god king of the astral common well, who is the leader of a commonwealth? The like, good emperor. But like an emperor so it's emperor for an empire. And then, like a king for a kingdom or, or whatnot. But what's a commonwealth? Who's the leader of a commonwealth? Well, the queen is the was the leader of I the suppose, commonwealth when the yeah. Brit the British had a. Well, we still have a commonwealth, don't we? Sort of. Yeah. Okay. Right. We'll go. We we'll go. Okay. As the morning light of the immortal god king of terror uh, stretches across <laughs> and warms the cheeks of the remaining loyal civilians of Bristolis IV. <laughs> They stand in awe of the space marines of the fists of numerous. <clears throat> oh God, okay, I'm gonna need some water. You can't just drop cheeks in your speech, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Um, <laughs> supposed to not understand humans. Stop! I've got to stop laughing. I've got to be stony faced. Do what I want. Um, okay, so. You are, uh, like, you stand in the, uh, sort of, like, the governmental, uh, plaza. Um, there is, um, in front of you, there is a statue to the immortal god-king of the Astral Commonwealth. Um, it was, um, slightly dinged up, um, in the fighting. And by dinged up, I mean it was mostly restored, like, reduced to rubble. Um, but through your... Like, you can see that there are a number of uh, servitors, so sort of like, you know, human cyborgs that have effectively gaffer tapes this statue back together in a rough approximation of what the Immortal God King is believed to look like. Um, and as you stand looking out over a grateful, uh, gratefully liberated Bristolis IV, um, yeah, you are uh, advised that there are two power blocks that are currently... Um, like clamoring for your for your attention um so house let's call them house brainy no what's uh who, oh, so subtle. house brainy no what's that's subtle uh, is a brick that's yeah yeah um it is named after uh matriarch brainy no what's um Spelt with a Z at the end, I've decided. Um, and uh, a pious local, a pious law enforcement. Um, 
So, uh, let's say uh, it's because it's a it's a it's an incredibly pious. Okay, so it's the order of Saint Padalus, uh, <laughs> named after their holy icon, which is a uh, repentive paddle. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, no. Okay. Um, so uh, the conflict centers around. Okay, so I need to. Okay, so I need to roll a d12. Stop giggling. This is very, very important, Brother Grilda. Uh, Twelve. So. Some people might say that they're up some creek without a paddle. I mean, like, <laughs> uh, I would never say such things. You would never, no, 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 no. This is below us. <laughs> Um, that would be heresy. Heresy. <laughs> the representatives from House Brain Know What, Brainy Know What, and the Order of St. Padalus um, have approached you um, because they are currently disagreeing over who has the right to film Bristolis 4's promotional Pictvid, um, encouraging people to visit it as a tourist destination. <laughs> so. Okay. Um. <clears throat> With that in mind, uh, so you know, in front, so to your left um, is a member of House uh, Brainy Know What. Um, so it's a man in a very kind of slender, tall man in long, flowing purple robes, um, with uh, like a very kind of long, narrow face, but an upsettingly large cranial space like it's huge bold like you can see veins and like brain uh just the, the, the head the top of the head is almost as big as his torso uh, and there's various kind of wires um and like every so often they crackle and spark quite worryingly um and for the order of saint padalus um is a uh um, oh, I mean, how how deep do we go for this? Um, <laughs> is, is Very deep. What is effectively? Uh, I'm just going to describe. I'm I'm going to describe him as a stag do nun costume. <laughs> nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Very short. I'm here for this. Yeah. <laughs> um, like fishnets. Yes. Yes, <laughs> and very intimidatingly, just like um, repenting uh, in the name of the God King of the Astral Commonwealth of People uh, by like smacking his palm with his electro paddle. Well, maybe Brother uh, Gregor, uh, Gregor is finally going to understand love. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Um, There's all different types of love in this world, sibling Gregan, apparently. <laughs> so, um, yeah, their, their arguments are so uh, brain know what, uh, brainy know what, um, want to uh, kind of draw people in um, with details of uh, the new Psy, Ar Psy Academia, um, which uh, trains people to be sanctioned psychic users, uh, sanctioned psychers, um, and the Order of St. Padalus um, wants to, inspired by the Fists of Numerous, wants to draw people in so they can be indoctrinated and begin a new crusade throughout the Astral Commonwealth, um, bringing uh, a swift paddling to uh, the foes of the Commonwealth. Um, but yeah, that is what they're kind of bickering about. And so stand in front of you. Um, what, what, what are you making of it? What are you thinking? I mean, it's a lot to take in. I appreciate it. It's a lot to take in. <laughs> uh, I think Brother Grunty, with their, like, uh, ordained, like, <clears throat> zealous kind of verve for rebuilding and building things, is mostly controlling, like, kind of ordering around all the little servitors just to make sure that they've got, like, the bits of rubble in the right place to rebuild the, uh, the statue. So I think... Currently, Brother Grunty's too distracted by auditing, or, or yeah, auditing okay. the servitors around. So, <laughs> I'll tell you what, just to get things so, kicked off real quick. Sorry. Question, oh, yeah, just no. question for our like task. So, is our task to film a pro promotional tourist video? You are tasked Choose. with handling the diplomatic 
mess that is brain sorry house brainy know what's and an order of Pal uh, order of St. Pal Padalus um, like that you've got to smooth out their Jeez. disagreement diplomatically right um, but just to get the ball rolling and just to get some dice rolling um, whilst uh, the two people whilst the two representatives are kind of speaking to you all uh, brother grunty you're stood in the background um you know ordering the servitors to put it all together now that sounds remarkably like building and repairing things um and it doesn't sound combative at all um so please roll me your uh, d20 as that is a thing that you're very 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 good at yeah uh da -da -da -da. Uh oh. <laughs> it's got it started well. Okay. okay. That was a nineteen for people that didn't read it. That's a nineteen, yes. Um okay, so that is a success with dire collateral. Uh okay. Right, so as the two um the two representatives are talking, um like Brother Grunty, you're getting more and more animated to directing the servitors, um, to the point where, um, I mean, you're you're obviously like you're a superhuman. You're significantly kind of more capable than a mindless servitor, um, and you get so into it because I mean, this is your like building and repairing things is your passion, right? So you just decide to get stuck in. Um, and the, the other three of you, um, you're used to the sounds of what sounds like warfare. Um, so you don't really notice what hap what Brother Grunty is up to behind you. Um, but when you look, um, you, you, when you turn, you notice that the statue behind you, because it is a success. Okay, so the statue of the God King Emperor is exactly as you imagine it. It is a masterpiece. We, it is a, like a Leonardian level piece of work unfortunately uh well no i mean well unfortunately for them um some of the rocks haven't had were problematic to stick together like they they weren't quite the right shapes so you had to find something a lot more malleable um and the rest of you can't be too sure if that's not people jammed in the cracks of this massive statue to use as mortar once it goes hard, it's fine. Yes. You've got to wait for it to dry. Yes. And to really so list it in there. Dying collateral is civilian death or priceless items destroyed. So, there were a few passers-by, a few worshippers to the God King Emperor, and now they will be part of the God King Emperor's glory forevermore. Yes. <laughs> um, it is the way glorious, it should be. <laughs> glorious work, Brother Grunty. Thank you. <laughs> this is most impressive. Um, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what? Um, yeah, the, the, the representatives. Yeah, how you? The, the representatives leave. Um, you're you're tasked with, you know, figuring out. Um, so, Brain Noe, what, uh, Brain Noe what's it want to bring people here to train up to be psychers. Uh, Order of St. Paladis wants to bring people here to uh, turn into kind of uh, indoctrined fighters to send out into the Commonwealth. Um, what's your What's your first protocol? call? Um, they're, they're at loggerheads. How, how might you appease them? Or, like, get them to work together? I think we should throw a party. The most impressive party in all the land. We shall have cake and we shall have party hats and streamers. Perhaps, perhaps Brother Grilda, if both of these factions are vying for the dominance of this filming pick video, then they can both organize party and we decide which party better oh yes brother grector yes both shall shall organize parties and then we shall be the judge of the best party so the um the representatives uh 
<laughs> run back after hearing you discuss this, um, and they suggest that if the plan is to have two part like a party off, um, that it would only be fair if the four of you are split with like you two each, and then you're just kind mm. of working. In effect, it's it's like it's like The Apprentice, but <laughs> with Space Marines. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, yeah, with, with that in mind, who's who's going to help out the uh, house of uh, house Brainy Know What? I I can help them. <laughs> yeah, uh, and just keep it. Shall we say, Brother Grector as well? So we got so so we're stacked. Okay, so uh, Brother Grunty, Brother Grilda, you are uh, allocated to setting up the party for the Order of Saint Padlus. And yeah, Grector and Gregan, uh, you are um, assigned to House Brainy No Um So, uh, Grunty and Grilda, um, you you head to the Church of St. Pad Padalus. Um, it is this kind of city block sized cathedral um, covered in kind of Gothic architecture. Um, like incredibly tall well what would have been incredibly tall uh stained glass windows and uh like loads and loads of rare minerals and metals covering it um until it was all but leveled um in your liberation of bristolis 4 um now like the the building is effectively unusable um and the order of st padlas is set up in a little wooden shack alongside with like a hand painted sign of a paddle um, but yeah, uh, as you approach them, uh, one of the, um, novitiates approaches you and thank you for coming, uh, hallowed space marines. Um, I understand you're going to help us with our, with our party. Uh, what, what did you have in mind? What should, what should our first op what should our big opening act be? To really capture the spirit of the people of the Gastral Commonwealth. Well, as you know, we are here to bring our fist to your paddles. And together, mm -hmm. our fists and your paddles will ensure that we are victorious <laughs> over those brainy no wads. We shall crush them in our party prominence and my colleague and sibling grunty here is very good at building things and grunty will build the best party decoration extravaganza you've ever seen okay, okay. what do you think brother grunty that sounds like an amazing idea amazing uh, can I use guns? <laughs> um, <laughs> the 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 novitiates look at one another, um, and they kind of like they shrug, like sure, uh, you're a space marine. Um, your 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 weapon is a it's like a pager from the god king himself sending out pages into all the heretics to let them know they've been bad <laughs> i don't know why high command told you that that be well that's it you heard high command be like yes i i sanction your the use of weapons <laughs> <laughs> um yes. well, weapons are most impressive especially when they're giant flamethrowers <laughs> <laughs> okay so um what yeah, what's your how yeah, what what are your specific approaches? So, um so Grilda, what what are you how are you what are you doing? <laughs> okay, yes. What what is Grilda doing? Grilda is trying to set up the most impressive decoration display of any party anywhere. Okay. Just, you know, we and I am talking the full, you know, balloons on the ceiling, party streamers, like balloon arches, you know, um, floral arrangements on 
on all the tables and like fireworks indoor fireworks that are going to be like that are gonna be set off at the crescendo of the party okay okay are these indoor fireworks actually just like weapons just like kind of like stuck in at various they angles are, <laughs> they are mini flamethrowers <laughs> They are mini flamethrowers yeah. that are set below big, like, big metal, like, bowls of gunpowder and nitroglycerin. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay. God. Can um, I start to draw high on this one, please? Please, please roll the... What? what I, I'm trying to think. Is this whole... No. Are you, are you impressing civilians? Is that what we're doing? I I am trying to make it as impressive okay. as marinely pro possible. Which is an infinite amount of possible. Uh, okay, yes. please roll me your dice to see how uh, okay. how well this goes. Okay. Your your pyrotechnics a two. A two. Okay, that <laughs> is. Okay, um, we'll 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 keep that in mind, uh, brother Grunt, brother Grunty. Uh, what are you doing? While uh, Grilda is setting up the pyrotechnics, uh, Brother Grunty has decided to make a thing which is going to help him gather information, and he's uh, put together an online survey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Through the infinite power of the Emperor and the King, I've sent, I've gathered this QR code right here. If you scan it, then you'll be sent to a survey so I can gather information about what you want. Amazing. Okay, please. Um... Ah, the power of consumer research. Exactly. Is this where we apologise to every Warhammer 40k fan for not actually knowing the, about the lore that much? I know nothing about it. Yeah, like that. I know that much about it. It's just like, and that's, that's all we need. Oh. Okay, uh, exactly. please make me a gathering information roll. Uh, my oh. gathering information, uh, I'm just checking what my thing is. It's a d12. Uh, with the power of surveys, we have a seven. Okay. Okay. Right. So. So well. At the so your your opening gambit like your opening bid, um you so you rolled so okay um can I accidentally punch one of the people in the face when I like hold out the QR code? <laughs> <laughs> it's basically, You're a space a marine. You'd probably take his head off. So, it gives them malware when they. <laughs> 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 Okay. So, so as the malware in the sense that you infest them with chaos? <laughs> so this, okay, tell you what, so this QR code um, that you, so Brother Grunty, as you stomp through the streets of Bristolis 4, you're like, scan this QR code, scan this QR code, you're just like shoving it in, in the feedback. <laughs> and like people are like, oh, oh, God, uh, oh, oh, God King, oh, the, like, and then they're, they're scanning it with their uh, PIC devices. Um, and the website they're taken to um, looks like you only really had uh, like one source of reference and that's like early 2000s MySpace pages. Um, so like everything the best was like kind. Really crappy. There was a really loud music track playing and you couldn't stop it. <laughs> um, like pop-ups kept on appearing over the bits of information that you wanted. Um, it was just, it was glorious. It was glorious. Um, unfortunately, uh, so hang on, with, with minor collateral. Um, in the, yes, in your enthusiasm, there were a few civilians who were like smacked in the face by your like enthusiastic QR code presenting. Um, so there's uh, there's news of a wave of nasal reconstruction surgeries happening to happen through the streets of Bristolis 4 because people's faces have just been in like compressed into their skulls um unfortunately 
uh, because of all the pop-ups, no one could really get to the information underneath. Uh, so it was gathering information and then also an invitation to um, the party at uh, St. Padalus. Um, so whilst... Uh, so Grilda, whilst the uh, pyrotechnics were on point, no one was there who meant to be. <laughs> Oh. So there's uh, Brother Grunty, you come back to find Grilda sat on a rock <laughs> outside this, um, like the, the ruins of the Cathedral of St. Padmas, <laughs> and there's just like gouts of flame <laughs> into the sky, and no one to watch you. <laughs> um, what is this? Uh, position you are in brother grilder what is this i do not understand what this it is just, it, it all it all went off too soon and i, I promise nothing like this ever happens to me I, this is, you this is too the first time usually usually I, i'm very good at, at holding back but but it just you know i just i got so excited and i couldn't Premature. stop it Actually, yes. let's, let's run with that. Premature. Like, like, Brother Godzi, as you look up, there's the Gouts of Flames, but this is basically, like, you know when uh, you see those videos of people that accidentally set off all of their fireworks? Like, and they're just... <laughs> it's that, but with flamethrowers. And it's just this <laughs> inferno spewing out the building. <laughs> I, I promise you that when it happened, it was very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> if only short-lived. <laughs> In okay. solace, Brother Grunty is just going to fire the god pistol, like, in the air. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I don't know what that's going to do, but so sure. In, uh, yeah, in our you fire... Okay, Thank you, Brother I Grunty. Will, I will keep that in mind, that you fired the god pistol. Um, and this charge of superheated blue energy <laughs> flies off into the distance and just seemingly arcs as it enters the upper atmosphere. Um... Cool. <laughs> it's like a shooting star in reverse. <laughs> um, right. Grector and Gregan, uh, you are invited to House Brain You Know What's. Um, it looks like a really creepy laboratory. There's lots of creatures, uh, some maybe human in like test tubes, all with uh, like gigantic heads um, with sort of like plugs and wires and you know, veins and whatnot. Um, and. Yeah, House Brainy Know What's wants to know what you think you should do as the opening act. Gregan, do you have ideas? I have one idea that is spectacular, perhaps. <laughs> Brother Grector, you are the parade enthusiast. <laughs> Tell me where to go and I can lift things for you. Perhaps, maybe, if there are many civilians all moving in a single direction then <laughs> and they are saying our very famous slogan which i think there are many slogans now but the primary component is fist but the fist <laughs> and they all move in a single direction with banners perhaps uh, Okay. Big big head. I can't remember what his name is. Big head. How proficient are you in your your cohort at producing colourful banner? Uh the the <laughs> So the Saikanas of uh, House Brady Know What's uh, look to each other and they sort of like look down at their weak and frail and like emaciated <laughs> limbs. Because um, it turns out like they've got the long cloaks, but they actually just like levitate. Uh, so they just like dust the floor as they go. Um, but then they all look up to you with like hopeful eyes and uh, in your mind you hear, we will have it done. I will oversee this colourful banner making. Okay. Perhaps, Gregan, you can lift and place items so that the route where people will march in a very orderly fashion is very regimented, as would the... Well, is it, it's not the Emperor, right? Who, who are we? God King. The, the God King. The God King would want! <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Okay, so brother, so sibling Gregan, you've got to uh, kind of move the rubble 
that's scattered across Bristolis 4 to create a route for the parade. Um, okay. Um, DM Dan. Yes. What does a street look like in. Um, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's effectively a. Um, I would I would just say picture a street in like Fallout. Okay. There's just um, all sorts of would you describe the the houses as American or European style? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Very important. I have a point. I promise. Yeah. No, I'm I'm with you on this, oh, Tilda. Is it like big tall skyscrapers, or is it like you know More sort in of the Georgian sense. era sort of? More in the sense, buildings. are they made out of brick and mortar, or are they like? Paper and wood, like in America. I see. Uh, uh, they would be made of like plasteel um, and uh, so like a metal concrete mix, and cool. yeah, uh, the yeah we're, we're probably talking like every building is like a skyscraper type, like the huge huge edifices with like gargoyles and stuff hanging off. Uh, but yeah, all fundamentally picture stone. Yeah, so I assume like little like twittens in between them. Yeah. Excellent. So I would like to put all the rubble in between the twittens. So it's very so there is no escape routes. <laughs> Nobody shall escape the parade. Very yeah. good, brother <laughs> sibling dragon. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um Right, and uh Brother Grector, uh, as you if you're like are you ju you're specifically overseeing the creation of these banners by uh House Brain, you know what's uh, overseeing in the sense that a, a very overzealous parent figure would do with a child's homework, as in do, mostly doing it for them. Okay. I, I... I would like to forcefully hold these very frail <laughs> people's <laughs> arms and make banners sure. with their okay. arms. <laughs> so the thing is, I think that does sound like you're building things. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, please, please make me a uh, building and repairing thing roll, uh, Tilda. If you can make me a lifting heavy objects roll, and we'll see how your first day goes. <laughs> Grector, okay. Gregan, uh, hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, right. Um. So, Brother Grector, um, you, uh, oh, have we got it? Have we got it? Oh, that didn't, did that pop up properly? Uh, who, who made the tip? Who did the tip? Does anyone do a tip? Brother Grunty, five pounds. <laughs> hey! Okay, so, uh, in that case, uh, Brother Grector, uh, please roll again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that first! Okay. Oh, that first! <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> Don't mess it up this time. Uh, so that is a four. I said, "Don't mess it up this time." <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, you get a com link from uh, Brother Grundy saying, "Don't mess it up this time," and then you do exactly the same. Like at this point, <laughs> like, at the point that you get the com link. Um, you're, you find yourself kind of in a, the problem with the luscious fabrics that, uh, House Brainy Know What's were using is that you couldn't easily change the color of them. So, mm. um, like after sort of like agonizing for ages and it was really difficult to like sew things together um, especially with your like arm sized fingers um you eventually went no 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 and you push them all out the way um and the banners and sort of like all of the artwork and the streamers for the parade are bits of a4 paper that you've colored in with crayons because then you could get mm -hmm. the exact right color um mm. And uh, like pictures of what what what's the what's the, the 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 attitude that you want to invoke? What's the feeling you want to invoke from your parade? So I feel like at a certain point I was frustrated with the brainy know what's, and yeah. we have these A four pieces of paper, and I feel like um, I then gather them in a formation where they are all then wearing A four pieces of paper 
Is there access to perhaps a, a Space Marine type staple gun? So I may staple gun the pieces of paper to like both their massive heads and their bodies. It's just you like industrial sized. It's massive. It's like got like flames <laughs> coming out the side laser. of it. <laughs> you got, you've, you've got a grapple cannon, haven't you? Yeah. Why I've don't you try? Would those? you like to borrow my my cannon? Yes, it's not fixing to these these brain you know what's they're not. Oh, that sticky. should be easy enough. Can I fire? <laughs> I keep <laughs> but it won't stay. <laughs> Please grapple this person. I hold them in front of me with this paper like an ultimate. Yeah, now can I please fire my cannon? Yeah, no, absolutely. So, um, over the space of the afternoon, um, yeah, you use the grapple cannon to fundamentally staple <laughs> these crayon coloured paper banners to these floating psychers. Um, and for some reason, they just don't like. Uh, but there comes a point where the two of you are stood over them, going, oh, "It must be nap time. They're not moving. Um, it, it must be. It's been a very hard, long day. Sleep bye bye." <laughs> these these civilians can't even take one grapple cannon to themselves. How <laughs> how did, uh, unfortunate? A way they'll survive in war. Um, and. Uh, Okay, so yeah, you're like you, brother Grecto, You're kind of left <laughs> looking at these psychers, wondering how to rouse them from their naps. Um, sibling mm. Gregan, you rolled a seventeen, uh, so yeah. that is a success with dire collateral. Um, I mean, they are all dead. Oh, no, it's like whatever. Like you've come back, like beaming to help with the with the, the grapple cannoning, um, because uh, you did an amazing job. Um, clearing the streets and sort of like blocking off all the entrances. Um, you weren't entirely sure why the civilians of Bristolis 4 were seemingly running away in fear and terror um, as this like nine foot tall superhuman, like super soldier, was just stomping around, just launching bits of rubble and like cars um, <laughs> and just sort of like. <laughs> No one could go this way. Rawr! Like collapse some buildings on top of each other to block a block an exit route. Um, and uh, what what is it? So it's civilian death or priceless items destroyed. Um, so yeah, there are quite a few buildings that you you were just like you don't need this wall and like pulling the wall off to use as a block and then made building collapse. Um, and you effectively blocked off the escape route so well um, and kind of funneled the civilians into this parade route um, that there may have been an accidental stampede um, and like uh, thousands um, thousands of civilians unfortunately uh, well laid down their life in order for the parade route to be cleared okay um <laughs> The God King would approve. Yes. Um, one more question, yes. and I'm really sorry in advance. <clears throat> Seeing how you're already using the grapple cannon to put things in place, can we use a grapple cannon to make like a line on the street to hang up the um? <laughs> Yes. No one. <laughs> yes, that was that was the final bit. The sleeping. You, could, you couldn't get the sleeping. But you know they are napping. They're not doing their job. So we just put them on the uh, on the on the right part of the grap uh, of the grappling hook. So yeah, you mm. find they that fire, and they're just now like, they are this thing called bunting. Yeah, I don't know dead what dead bunting dead. is, but <laughs> back of the collar, just <laughs> hanging from the grapple hooks. Perfect, perfect. Okay, um, we will very very swiftly move on. Uh, so. Day two. Day two comes. The parade route is set. Um, you've learned some valuable pyrotechnic uh, um, ideas, Grilda. Um, what's uh, Grunty and Grilda doing for... What's your, what's the second day's worth of uh, parade prep? Like, what's your second idea? And, well, realistically, this has to be your big bombastic finale because on the third day, uh, the like, the, the Imperial Governors... Sorry, the, the Commonwealth Governors will arrive. The Grilda, Grilda's. We uh, we need to conflab. I've heard these uh, people of Bristolis Four enjoy something called music, something that they like to call drum and bass. Drum uh, and 
base. It sounds aggressive to me. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of aggressive. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of hitting things and yes. a lot of things going boom. Yes. I like this. And flamethrowers, yes? <laughs> of, course. Of, course. of course. Of course. Of course. We must find the brummiest and basiest things and, and, and put together a, 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 a musical soiree, oh, whatever that is. That oh. sounds excellent. <laughs> Thank you for the £10 donation, Julia. The next success must be re-rolled. No, <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> also, uh, oh, the betrayal. As as a quick aside for anyone watching, uh, we, well, we've got 20 minutes left, but because uh, we started five minutes late, we'll go for another five minutes. Um, so we've had a five pound, we've had a 10 pound. Uh, 20 pound, a new problem arises, um, but 40 pounds invoke obliteratus. Obliteratus is a uh, inquisitorially sanctioned uh, action where um, a problem is nuked from orbit. So uh, if anyone pays £40, um, the next problem will immediately be resolved with a success with catastrophic collateral. <laughs> yes, Nate, you did hear Julia cackle in the background. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, yeah, that is Obliteratus. £40 uh, for an instant catastrophic collateral success. Uh, sorry, continue, Chris and Meg. Oh, uh, and I mean... I gathered as much information as I could. Uh, and from the information gathering, this is what I have come across. Is that, they, that they want some music. Music, yes. We, we must impress the civilians and we must be nice to the civilians. So if music is what they want, then music is what we shall give them. Um, I'll, I'll our... be frank with you. I'm not good at being nice to civilians, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> That's okay. I am very good at being nice to civilians. Civilians, they are very impressed by me. And I'm also good at protecting them. Mostly. Anyway, <laughs> I will go and find the loudest bit of instrument that I can find. Let and... me help by lifting those instruments or finding large speakers that we could yes. uh, exit the noise large from. Speakers. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, um, okay. I think a bass. So drums. I know what drums are. We have drums of war, but bass. <laughs> I I have heard that this is a type of fish. <laughs> so do you think we need to go to the well, river? You hear a, a hiss, like a crackle in your comlink. Uh, Brother Grilda, if you're looking for uh, some bass speakers, uh, now that you have arrived on Bristolis 4, you could retrofit the jet, the engines of the space shuttle you arrived on. You could yeah. turn your spaceship jet engines into bass yes. speakers. This sounds Great. brilliant. But where right do the fish street. go? <laughs> Inside. <laughs> You, you grab them, and that's what makes it a bass speaker. You fill it with fish, and then turn it Okay, on. brilliant. Okay, Brother Grunty, I am going to go and fetch some fish. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, Chris and uh, Meg, please make me your rolls for your respective things. <laughs> Great. Um, what would fishing come under? That's a very good mm. question, Meg. Um... <laughs> I would say that's combat. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Shooting you, fish yeah, in a barrel. Come back with. Uh, so you head out to the the shore. Um, you with drop, my flamethrower. With your flamethrower. Um, you over the space of the afternoon, you manage to flamethrower all of the local fish life, like sea life, and like drag it out of the sea. Um, Decimating entire species. You, you absolutely <laughs> annihilate. <laughs> The beautiful coral reefs of uh, Bristolis yeah. 4 whilst um, retrieving your fish. Uh, so, yeah, you bring those back, that's fine. Um, Brother Grunty, are you lifting the speakers that are now filled with the fish that Brother Grilled has provided? Absolutely. Okay, um, so in which case, Meg, as uh, Brother Grunty is setting up your speakers, what, what are you doing? Um, you, okay. High Command has informed you that what you're doing is called, uh, in some on some planets, a disco. Um, a disco, yeah. 
So how, okay. what, what are you doing to help with the disco now that the fish are here? Now that the base um, is set up? Okay, so um, I I know from my excellent party planning skills uh -huh. that what people really like at parties is to be able to take home at the end of the day a party bag. Okay. Yes. Full of full of party favors okay. like like sweets and these little tubes that make bubbles okay right. and these noisy blowy things in which case uh chris please make me a lifting heavy objects for the speakers uh and meg make me a building and repairing things because you're building party bags great i am really bad at this <laughs> i mean i am really good at this because i am most impressive right i've got d8 as um as build and repair so okay. oh yep. dear right what's a d8 there's a d8 i'll oh, let no. you roll first meg One, two, three, four. <laughs> there we go sorry i can't count sides uh it's the that's it that is a seven that's a seven and uh Chris. noticing uh brother grunty noticing kind of like as these fish are being flung into this kind of vortex-like uh, engine speakers, notices a child kind of like over in the corner, like weeping uh, and crying as it's kind of like massively sad that like the whole entire uh, ecosystem has been obliterated by Brother Grilda the and seas, sort of like... The seas of Bristolis 4 are now beautifully glimmering with um, like rainbow because of all of the Promethean oil that Brother Grilda has poured into it by flamethrowering all the fish. Amazing. Also, not to be a, not to be that person, but we did get a ten pound uh, donation oh, from I'm Julia, so old. I do believe Meg needs to reroll that success. Yes. Oh, no. of course it's not. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... All right. Finish your bit, and I will. I'll reroll in a minute. Yeah, sorry. Carry on, Chris, sorry. So, noticing this, like, all of Brother Grunty's focus away from the lifting things is like... <laughs> just, like, focused on this small child. Yeah, kind of... yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that sounds like uh, you're fascinated by something. Uh, so you I'm adding a D10? a D10. And you pick the highest. A nine. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Um, you minor collateral. <laughs> so, uh, Meg, if you do your reroll. Oh yes. Oh dear. Okay. Reroll good, Meg. A five. five. Okay. So still a success. That's better. That's better. <laughs> okay. That's no no damage. That's better. So. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, thanks, Thank Julia. The retro <laughs> Was it Julia? It was yes. Julia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The retrofitted um, spaceship engines uh, filled with, like, you filled it with so much fish that when you send this, uh, what, what High Command refers to as a sick beat, um, into the speaker, um, there's enough, like, physical mass that it kind of dulls the sounds down to, like, sub-audible, um, like, levels. To the point oh, no. where you can no longer hear it, you can just feel it. Um, oh no, it's, it's not the brown noise, is it? Luckily, you <laughs> rolled a success, so it isn't the brown note. <laughs> oh, um, but uh, the the gig, it's so the, the disco itself goes fine. Um, Chris, you've rolled a nine, which is a success with minor collateral. Um, so your like obviously you know the speakers are all set up absolutely fine um in your fascination um with this crying child uh who's you know worried about the the death of all of the fish in Bristolis 4 um presumably as you kind of kneel down <laughs> oh emperor of mankind has donated 20 a new problem right okay okay cool thank you i'll do that in a sec as you kneel down to this child and presumably go stop crying <laughs> um you bellow so loud that the child <laughs> like <laughs> loses hearing for the next week um but you're be like and as you say that you then look up and notice the rest of the orphanage of children um 
like also start crying. Um, so <laughs> yes, uh, and very it's, confused. It's, 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 yeah. So it's at this point that like um, the picked like the pick video comes in to see you ah, shouting at this child, and then like this gaggle of about fifty children just. Ah, like weeping uncontrollably wouldn't, um, wouldn't that add to the music though yes yeah i was yeah, gonna ask dan can can i sample this can i like turn on my recorder like in my helmet and then pipe it back through the speakers like on loop find like why, a nice loop that is why it is a success um, <laughs> right the the emperor of mankind has decreed that a new problem has arisen um, so it is a oh no an incredibly part no we've actually had that it's not that it is a three and a six um, a fierce oh and we've got to re-roll a success thank you very much for the ten pounds okay so this is a fiercely opportunistic uh, uh, six super linked techno bishop hive <laughs> so um, right in which case. The, the the disco goes off pretty much okay, apart from all the crying children um, and little Timmy being deafened for the next three weeks. <laughs> um, Grector and Gregan, um, on your second day, you're about to kind of deal with the orders from St. Pallidus um, when uh, the Adepticon Cogmaticus, uh, who are a order of, like, mechanical priests... Um, you arrive on the second day to help the Order of St. Paladus and you find the wooden shack levelled and raised and in its place is a metal box with the logo of the Adepta Concord Manicus um, and like sat in a red robe um, with just like more metal protruding from her face than skin. Um, you see one of the techno bishops who, hello, she says as you approach. Um, Are you here for... That are you here to prepare the festivities for the second day before the diplomatic envoy this arrival? Yes. Um, yes, we are. Good job with the leveling of the previous sleepy people. <laughs> yeah. um, they were heretics. The flesh is weak. <laughs> Glory to the Omnisire. Uh, so... Um, I like this one, Gregan. <laughs> okay, so as the superlink Latino you know, looking, I approve. As the superlink techno bishop hive, um, the Adepticon <laughs> Codmanicus, uh, what are you doing to help them? Um, they, you notice that as you like, as you stand there, you notice that their servitors appear to be kind of going through the buildings and like in a very Star Trek Borg kind of way. They're just like assimilating civilians um, and like turning them into servitors as well. Um, and this this tech priestess looks to you and uh, manual labor for the festivity preparations. Gregan, I have one idea, but if you have idea, I would love to hear. I am... I don't do ideas. <laughs> I feel like the smell of fish in the morning and the sound of children crying has inspired me. These cogmaticus move in a very alluring, interesting way of which can be translated into good dance moves. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We could call it the cog dance, not the robot. <laughs> the, 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 you, the droid the, the, the mechanical dance. Tweaking instead of twerking, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Tweaking. <laughs> uh, just an idea. Just an idea. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, the Adepticon Cogmanicus. Uh, are aware of the dance craze known as tweaking. It's effectively electrical. Maybe. <laughs> Perhaps, Gregan, you, we are the people that, uh, we are the leaders that encourage the movement of this assimilation to be go along the previous parade route, and they move in an, uh, this, this, this way that is both mechanical and also fluid. <laughs> It does something within me that I don't understand. 
I don't understand, but we shall do it. Um, okay, yeah, I guess this you could argue that dance <laughs> is a form of art. Um, Good. Okay. okay, so, what are your plans for the final day? Uh, say final day, like what, what, so we, we're doing a dance, we're setting up a dance. Is this a dance for the disco? Uh, I, I feel like actually perhaps... Yeah. Oh, sorry, Gregor. Go, go, go. No, I, I, for, for Gregor, it's starting to dawn on, uh, dawn on them. Like they don't really understand what's going on, but the <laughs> way the the noise that he, that they can't understand and the movements they can't understand mm. mashing together in a kind of an aesthetic way. Yes. They don't understand that they are they are starting they are starting to appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> Character growth. <laughs> Actually, I'm aiming, I'm aiming nice for a marines. I am aiming for a D10 here. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, so uh, you, you know that you're going to put together like a dance party to rival, I guess, the the disco that um, the other the other team have put together. Um, what what one specific thing are you kind of looking after, Grector, to get this dance party off the ground? Uh, what is your approach? Oh. So I'm going to say, if you need to get people to dance, that's like you kind of have to get a lot of people together in one space, right? It's mm. almost... It's like a parade that doesn't go anywhere. Okay. A parade that doesn't go anywhere. I think that, like... Everyone's moving, <laughs> but they're not actually traveling you know so like it's, a station a stationary station parade. parade how yeah. curious <laughs> <laughs> um, um and yeah till the, so uh gregan you're okay so uh, gregan is yeah. has a very specific gregan has a very specific uh, idea here like today they woke up thinking in order for all of this to work uh-huh. civilians actually need to be alive to do the things they need to do. Are you okay. I am actually going. Gregor is going to be following Grector, uh, uh, Grector, and the, um, the 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 priest, making sure the civilians don't die in the process. Sure. Okay. I think Grector is specifically using. They haven't been able to use their jetpack for a while, and I think they are using the jetpack to like outline the the stationary parade area but also to give that you know disco mute like a uh, club night effect of like the smoke kind of so also maybe the blood and guts from the previous you know <laughs> so attempts so are covered for anyone who has ever organized an event okay in order to protect your civilians okay the most optimal way at an event is to have a health and safety plan and by doing a health and safety plan and having a risk assessment that is the best way to keep your civilians alive so brother I, gregan maybe I, I, you I, should I, take out a risk assessment of your event i would like to keep my d12 so no, thank you i'm just <laughs> physically well, I'm, going I'm around there's, a, there's an idea that if you've got this health and safety thing like the best way to make sure that an event is health and safety compliant is to remove all infractions on the health and safety <laughs> that would be everything thing. i've done yesterday yeah so <laughs> um <laughs> So, you know, if, if you if you're watching this disc if you're watching this dance party and you notice that someone is not being health and safety compliant, then you can terminate them with extreme prejudice to ensure that the compliance level is restored to where it should be. Right? Oh God. I mean, and if at any point they stop sure. dancing, that's an infraction. That's, yeah, so right? yeah. cool. You okay. know what they say, Brother Gregan, you must kill people to keep people alive. <laughs> 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 um, okay, so uh, Brother Grector, uh, please make me a holding parade roll. Uh, sibling Gregan, please make me a protecting civilians roll with an extra d10 because you're fascinated by this combination of sound okay. and movement. Grector is a 16, uh, and depending on how this goes, I'm going to pick one of you to re roll. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, okay. A D okay, so an 11 on that D12. Um, okay, so we're going to say... Uh, oh, they are both success with minor collateral. Okay, so... Actually, mine is dire collateral if it's an 11. I was going to say they're both dire. Both dire, big man, yes. Uh, so, um, Errol, you are odd. Tilda, you are evens. Uh, okay, Errol, please re-roll your uh, holding parades from the oh. six. Oh! Okay. That's a success! Oh, Infinitely you better. Out. Mm -hmm. out. Okay, so... In, in contrast to the disco on the other side of Bristolis 4, um, you start a, um, a, a kind of a, a dance party. Um, are you, what, are you using the music from the other event? Or is like, actually, you know what? So you succeeded and then you die as collateral. So that is civilian death or priceless items destroyed. Okay. Can, can I argue that because I'm trying to protect civilians, I'm just destroying the whole of the city? <laughs> um, you, you're protecting civilians, but okay. okay. Well, tell you what, because this is part of the Techno Bishop Hive, um, the Adepticon Cogmanicus, um, you, so brother, sibling Gregor, you're stood arms folded at one end of this dance hall. And when I say dance hall, it's frankly like this stadium um, sized uh, arena. Um, and it is packed with thousands and thousands of people that have been drafted in to be part of this dance party. The dance party was a success. Um, everyone had a great time. Um, partially because um <laughs> throughout the night th throughout the the 18 hour dance party um brother uh, sibling gregan uh, you were like strategically striking at anyone who wasn't complying with the the god king mandated dance moves um and like if it, like if anyone stopped dancing death uh, if you uh, did the wrong move death um, if you sneezed or coughed, death. Um, and like the the thousand strong is still thousand strong by the time you're finished. It's just not as high a number of thousands. Um, and there's just like they what look like dropped um, splats of red jam like all over the floor. And Greg, and there's a part of you that really appreciates the harmony of this. What what has been referred to as dance. Um, and unbeknownst to you, is because the only ones left alive are the now cyborgified servitors that the techno bishops have managed to convert and assimilate earlier in the day, and they're all like in unison. <laughs> and they're all doing um, the tweak uh, in perfect unison, and it is just watching like. Like and the spaces get filled with more servitors as you pluck out the troublemakers. Um, some of them are splattered to the ground. Some of them are just presumably tossed over the walls um, <laughs> to land somewhere else in the city. Um, and yeah, there's this feeling of pride within your ch in both of your chests um, as you see this beautifully harmonious dance that truly represents the the companionship and togetherness of Bristolis Four. Now that it's returned to the Astral Commonwealth. So, with the, the sound of the fish-induced bass uh, on one side of the city and the sounds of mechanical whinings and electrical fizzings from the other, um, the four of you kind of smile and take, uh, take in all of your accomplishments. And the next day, um, at uh, the crack of dawn, uh, a Commonwealth shuttle, like transport shuttle, lands um, in the nearest spaceport. Uh, the Imperial Governor, uh, for who's been allocated to um, Ristolis IV, um, finds a city uh, that has its streets turned into kill zones. Um, there is a intense stench of fish um, with utterly, like utterly polluted waters. Um, the 
the, the civilians move around with 100% efficiency uh, because they are all now linked with the super linked Tecmo Bishop Hive. Um, and like the governor of surveys all of this and is pleased. Um, the picked vid, so um, the the the, vid the picked vid that you've recorded um, shows everyone kind of working in harmony and union. Um, clearly, uh, the gargantuan-headed uh, freaks uh, strung up over the streets uh, were the heretics that needed to be overthrown. Um, so they they feature prominently uh, in the videos to explain why it was so good to come to uh, Bristolis Four. And with through your actions, uh, a Bristolis Four sees a population boom. Uh, unfortunately, because the fish was the main uh, source of food, uh, the population soon collapses in on itself. Uh, and within three solar years, Bristolis Four is uh, uh, inflicted with obliteratus and reduced to space debris. But not before you've left the planet. A job well done. Congratulations, Space Marines, <laughs> for the fist. For the fist. For the fist. For the fist. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Yay. I just, I just like the image of all of us like sat on like a log, looking out at the, like the polluted sea, a sunset, and then just like eating like a charred like dolphin, just like um, um, most impressive. <laughs> Yes, just as you can hear the screams of civilians being forcefully turned into brainless cyborgs. <laughs> if they're being turned into cyborgs, do them. they need to eat? Arguably not. <laughs> but it's what the humans do, so we must. Uh, yes. We're, yeah, the cyborgs just what's the word? food in. When in Bristolis 4, do as the Bristolis 4 do. <laughs> okay. Um. Thank you, everyone, for uh, playing. Thank you, everyone, for uh, donating. Uh, that was nice, Marines. Uh, I hope you <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. Because um, yeah, that was. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I mean, don't sue me, Games Workshop, but it's not that far off the actual law of Warhammer, is it? <laughs> I think it's perfect, Dan. But then I don't know anything about the law, so. I think you need. To, this is all you need. This is all you need. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so, uh, yes, thank you for watching. Thank you for donating. Um, if you enjoyed this, uh, make sure to uh, hit the like button. Uh, leave your comments on um, whether or not you would uh, decide to live on Bristolis for post uh, Fists of Numerous. Um, and uh, make sure to stick around. We're going to be streaming uh, all the way up until 4.30. Uh, we're going to take a uh, an hour lunch break. Uh, but in the meantime, we are going to be um, doing a watch party of the Heroes Wanted Twitch channel. Um, so, yeah, this stream will stay open, but uh, we'll be kind of proxy viewing um, the Heroes Wanted crew, who at the mo who should just be starting a, a paranoia uh, session uh, powered by AI. Um, so no one in that game knows what's going to be happening uh and uh all the stuff that happens is getting fed back into the ai uh, and it's just kind of in a very mad and uh, very kind of paranoia um approved way so yes thank you all once again uh thank you chris Errol, meg and tilda for playing we'll see you in thank hour. you siblings <laughs> Thank you. For the first. For the first. For the first.